So there are two brand new software updates to the RG Ally in BIOS 331 and also the AMD graphics driver 31.0.2. There's two big questions going into this though. The first one being that one of our great viewers, Shanks, states that he is having issues updating to BIOS 331. So is this a widespread issue? And the second reason is that does this brand new AMD graphics driver 31.0.2 finally fix the EA Sports FC24 title screen problem? One thing the AMD driver does do though is unlock a really neat feature that we'll also take a look at. So let's dive straight in and yes, Shank said that his ally doesn't automatically turn on after restarting. Then it says update failed and he's tried five times. So let's head into the My Asus app and it's showing an update is available for the actual app. So let's update that. Okay, so the My Asus app is now fully updated. Let's head into the essential update area and yes, the new BIOS 331 is now available. So let's say update all and then restart. Okay, so it has restarted on its own unlike the issue Shanks has. So let's press yes to start the BIOS update. I don't know about you, but I think that this is the perfect time for a pancake intermission while we wait. So the BIOS 331 has just finished updating, so let's press OK on the Easy Flash message. The Ally has automatically restarted and we're back in. So let's head to the My Aces app and it's showing an essential update is still needed. So maybe it didn't go through. <sighs> let's double check and oh, hang on. Yes, it is now showing that 331 is now installed. Yes. So just ignore that essential update bug, it should be installed and let us know in the comments if you had issues like our viewer Shanks did or did it go through okay like it did right here. There is strangely no change log either for this BIOS 331 so again drop a comment if you do find any noticeable improvements with this latest update. By the way, don't miss out on any of these very latest Ally software updates, tutorials and news by hitting those like and subscribe buttons and enabling notifications because you guys are awesome. And now let us answer the second question of does this new AMD drive at 31.0.2 fix the EA Sports FC24 loading screen issue? And I do know that other games are currently unplayable on the current AMD driver like Sonic Frontiers 2. Before we update, let's open up Device Manager, go to the AMD Graphics section, head to the Driver tab at the top, and you can see that for those of us who want to play FC24 natively on the Ally, we have to roll back to the July AMD driver, which is not ideal at all. A tutorial on how to do this is on the channel. Massive thanks to the 5,000 and counting of you who've used this so far. You guys are incredible. So let's head into the My Asus app, go to the latest updates in the live update tab and we can see here that there's a couple of drive updates here with of course the most important one being this brand new AMD driver. Just click on download all, select where which in my case is the desktop. I won't bore you installing the Bluetooth and wireless LAN updates right now so let's just double click on the AMD file and I'm a little hesitant to update as FC24 works great on the July driver but let's click yes, click OK, click next, accept and then install and it will automatically remove the previous driver and full install this brand new one after a restart too. Let's double check by going into Device Manager, Display Adapters, AMD, then the Driver tab which now shows this brand new 31.0.2 driver. So now is the moment of truth. Let's open FC24. And by the way, the EA app offers a 10 hour trial of this to us Game Pass Ultimate subscribers. So even if some of you aren't a fan of football or soccer as you great American viewers call it, then this is definitely worth trying out. So I've come back after five minutes and this brand new AMD driver does not fix the FC24 issue. 
I do apologize for the slightly clickbait title of this vid, but it was because of this very reason. In that if you want to keep playing FC24 and potentially other games that are unplayable on the current AMD driver, then I can confirm that they are also unplayable on this very latest driver too, which is deeply frustrating. There is one big upside to updating though, because when we now go into the AMD app, then the gaming tab at the top, a brand new graphics profile now appears called HyperRx. When we select this, the AMD graphics driver will now upscale and enhance our in-game resolutions. It supports 720p and also the new 900p resolution that we've looked at a lot here on the channel and it gives us an upscale status which is neat. So basically HyperRx combines RSR which is spatial upscaling, Radeon Antilag Plus and Radeon Boost which is dynamic resolution scaling, making them compatible with one another and puts this collective set of three great features behind one single toggle switch which is something to celebrate. If you want to find out more about HyperRx there's a link in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've learned something from this video and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this brand new BIOS 331 and also AMD 31.0.2. Let us know in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right to the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Beautiful things happen when you clear your life of negativity. Life really is too short to allow those toxic friendships, relationships and jobs to get us down and stressed. So perhaps do an inventory and take steps to remove any negativity in your life and stay encouraged today guys. And check this video out if you want to know how to play the best 2D Mario game ever made in Super Mario Bros. Wonder on the Ally in just three easy steps. I only do these videos because of all of your amazing support, so please know that I appreciate every single one of you, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.